Where early voting continues ahead of the state's March 19th primary, one of the most closely watched races is the Republican battle for the U.S. Senate nomination. News 5's John Kosick sat down with all three of the GOP hopefuls for a lengthy conversation on the issue that will impact the race now and also in November. And tonight, John continues his series with their stance on the hot button issue of abortion, which Ohioans just voted to enshrine into the state constitution last November after the Supreme Court overturned Roe v. Wade in 2022. In Ohio, Republican voters are deciding right now if Matt Dolan, Frank LaRose, or Bernie Marino will be the one to challenge Democrat Sherrod Brown in November for the U.S. Senate, an issue that loomed large in the 2022 midterms and is expected to do so again, abortion. GOP hopeful Frank LaRose. Abortion is going to be a major issue in November. Where do you stand on what will you accept? I don't sit here in the context of an interview and negotiate how many weeks or what exceptions or whatever else. What I would like to see is for the U.S. to have a standard uh, that, that, that protects life. And I don't know what that would end up being, but I would like to see something done in the, in the, in the U.S. Uh, Senate that, that does that. And I would be supportive of something like that. But as far as a certain number of weeks or whatever else, this is not the context to negotiate that. So voters in Ohio, as you know, had their say in the ballot box related to uh, reproductive rights. And you would then take it away from the states and, and put it at the federal level? No, not at all. What I'm saying is that there should be a minimum standard, uh, something that, 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 that we as a country agree on as, as kind of the standard, and then states can, can, can go beyond that if they wish. GOP Senate hopeful Matt Dolan. President Trump has signaled that he might support a 16-week national abortion ban. If you were in the Senate, would you support that? Yeah, I have to look at what's happening around the country. If, if late-term abortion is becoming the norm in our country because of these groups putting on petitions, uh, yeah, I would look to a, a ban. The, the goal, hopefully, is to keep it in the states and have the states decide. What will you accept so far as abortion is concerned? How far do you go? I believe in the three exceptions, life of the mother, rape, and incest. And when bills came up before the Senate that did not have those in them, I did not vote for them. So I have a pro-life record that's actually reduced abortions in Ohio, but I've stayed true to my commitment. And I think my position accurately reflects where Ohio is and what Ohioans want. GOP Senate hopeful Bernie Marino. We've got to put policies in place that make it less expensive to have children, less expensive to raise children, make certain that women have access to good health care. Let's make sure that adoption services are more readily available. Let's make certain that we fund uh, pregnancy centers that really take care of women, not only while they're having a baby, but afterwards. And then as much as there's a federal role, we can get to a place where there's a 15 week floor standard that says after 15 weeks, uh, we have common sense restrictions that don't allow elective late term abortions. And we can have consensus around this issue once and for all. And to be clear, you support a national policy. So in the Senate, you would vote for, for that. I would vote for a national standard that says after 15 weeks, we have common sense restrictions that, again, eliminate elective late-term abortions. In Cleveland, John Kasich, News 5.